Dealing with Difficult Customers, delivered to you by CareerSource Pasco Fernando. Welcome to today's presentation on Dealing with Difficult Customers. In today's session, we'll be looking at the different ways we can assist our customers and keep it as positive as possible, even during these uncertain and trying times. The customer may always be right, but that doesn't mean all customers are easy to deal with. Sometimes we have worked with customers who have been downright unruly and difficult. It is our goal to strive to complete customer satisfaction, and we all know we get to deal with many different kinds of people in different aspects. Today's session will offer some different techniques that will help diffuse the unhappy customers and win them over when you might want to actually kick them to the curb. Let's look at some of the ways we can provide excellent customer service and turn a bad situation into an opportunity. First important key to great customer service is the technique of being a good listener. Let the customer say what they have to say and be sure to listen. Many times we know what the customer is going to say next, but talking over them will only heighten the situation. Let the customer get it out. And while they are doing so, try to start building a rapport with the customer and really understand what they're trying to tell you. By building empathy and understanding the customer is another key component to working with a difficult customer. Put yourself in the customer's shoes and be sure that you understand their position. Try to identify the customer's issue. It might help calm them down. Even using body language like making eye contact and nodding will allow the customer to feel like you're hearing them and that you really understand. When customers are upset and even angry about the situation, it is important to always try to maintain a calm, steady voice when speaking to them. Never raise your voice back at them or get loud as this could escalate the situation. In many instances, if you remain calm and approach the situation with a calm, clear mind, the customer's tone will most likely fold and the anger will usually lessen. Try to take the approach that all customers are watching your interaction with the difficult customer. When a customer becomes ab abusive verbally and unruly, pretend like you have others watching the interaction. By shifting your actions, you can actually think more clearly and respond in a professional manner. The last thing we want to do is have the customer repeat or impact others in the workplace in a negative fashion. Sometimes difficult customers cannot be calm, but you will know that you have done your best to resolve the issue. Sometimes you aren't going to be able to win the customer over and sometimes it's better to understand and compromise with them a little bit in the customer's favor. This will allow you some additional time to better understand the situation. Remind the customer that you are there to help and assist them while guiding them through the process in order to receive services. Keep in mind, most customers will not take it to the unruly level and you're dealing with somewhat of the exception. Remember that the customer doesn't know you and they're just venting their frustrations at you as a representative to the company. Always speak to the issue at hand and don't get personal. Keep control and help the customer stay on the topic or the issue and how you intend to help get a resolve. Most importantly, try to ignore the personal attacks and comments that the customer may direct towards you when venting. Remember, everyone has bad days. Maybe they have some kind of underlying issue that may have caused the negative interaction. It is through our training and empathy to help make their day better. And by being pleasant and professional, it might help them have a better day and you might feel good about it also. Be sure to always follow up and call the customer back as promised, just to be sure the issue was fully resolved. By doing this, the customer will know you are in their corner and you have really offered genuine ways in helping them resolve their issue. Most importantly, the customer will nine out of 10 times appreciate the call and your follow through. 
Be sure to always document your conversations and calls that you have with your customers. It's okay to let them know that you'll be documenting their case files so that the next interaction with yourself or another member of staff will be able to assist and will be well prepared. The bottom line is that dealing with difficult customers is not always easy and comes with the territory, but keeping a positive and clear mind will definitely help. Put yourself in their shoes and think about how you would want to be treated as a customer in your line of business. This concludes our session of dealing with difficult customers. We hope that you have found added knowledge about this topic. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact a member of management. Thank you and enjoy your day.